To get started, I asked my students a question. I said, what are the major challenges facing food production for the future? And we came up with a lot of things. The APS Education Foundation is just so proud to be involved with these really innovative programs and projects. The human population is 8 billion right now. The more people we have, the more farmland we need. The more farmland we need, the more habitat we take up. The more habitat we take up, the less habitat the natural populations have. So this is why we designed this, to save habitat and farmland and reduce the amount of energy we're using and to not pollute the groundwater. The process starts when we plant the seeds in these plugs and let them soak in the water and in about um, half a week they sprout. Once they've sprouted and they're looking like this, we'll take them out and we will put them in a basket since they're not in any soil. Just put them in here like this and then we'll transfer them straight to the grow towers. And then we'll take um, the basket with the plug in it and we'll just put it right into these grow pockets and the sprinkler will just drip down the water straight onto the roots of it. Basically it pumps water from the irrigation system, which is this right here, um, up a pump and then sprinkles it down onto the plants. So it's saving water and honestly through an entire harvest we use less water than you use in a shower you took this morning. So it's saving a lot of water over a long period of time because we're just recycling the same water over and over again. We plant them straight into a pot like this. We put them with red and blue lights because the red lights increase flower growth. The blue lights increase growth three times. This is controlled environment agriculture. We're controlling the environment. We can grow year round. We can control the temperature. We control how much water we put in. We control the frequency of the lights. Uh, blue light for vegetative growth, red light for flowering. When you know you come into a classroom and you see the enthusiasm and the inspired students because of this innovative project or idea that a teacher came up with, it's just really rewarding. We get a full harvest from seed in 24 days using less water than you used in the shower this morning. We have uh, lime, spicy savor, cinnamon, and Genovese basil. Um, they all smell a bit different and they all flower a bit differently. We have eliminated the need for pesticides and herbicides. We don't need that. That's why it tastes so great. Black seeded lettuce is just like, it's delicious, just tastes Awesome, like, it's like the perfect lettuce leaf. It is so yeah. fresh. We make a ton of salad. It's exciting to see that students are actually reaching their potential in an area where they may have not known they were interested in studying. It is the farming of the future. Mom!